The Eternal City, one of the world's ancient capitals. Rome has elected its first female mayor. Virginia Raji from the anti-establishment party Five Star Movement took the historic victory with two-thirds of the vote. I want to say that this is a fundamental, historic moment, a turning point. For the first time, at a moment when equal opportunities are still a mirage, the mayor of Rome is a woman. As well as its first female mayor, Raji is also Rome's youngest, at age 37. She is a lawyer and has served as a city councillor for the past three years. Raji has declared a new era for Rome, campaigning on a promise to end corruption. We're going to work to bring legality and transparency to the institutions. After 20 years of bad management and after the Mafia Capitale investigation, principles have disappeared. The Five Star Movement also claimed a big victory in the city of Turin, with Chiara Appendino winning nearly 55% of the vote. The M5S has gone from a protest movement to a major player, reflecting voters' growing discontent with mainstream parties. The Five Star Movement won 19 towns and cities in Italy's local elections, its biggest ever challenge to the party of centre-left Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. Set up seven years ago by comedian Beppe Grillo, Five Star Movement is Eurosceptic, joining the wave of populist parties across southern Europe. It now has its first taste of real political power, but Italy's Prime Minister is downplaying the results. No one should dramatise or minimise this result. In my opinion, we should be wise and use our common sense. We should also note that the people who voted have spoken. The people of these cities have sent a message that we should reflect on. This comes as Matteo Renzi's ruling coalition faces accusations of widespread corruption and a referendum on constitutional reform set for October. As Virginia Raji moves into the heart of decision-making in Italy's capital, Will the Five Star Movement be able to prove it can govern and reshape Italy's political landscape? Yvette McCullough, The Newsmakers.